Well, it looks like they've finally done it. Infinity Ward has given us an update on the status of this game and what they're working on and what we can expect in the near future coming to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And although they didn't go into as much detail as some of us would have liked and they were kind of vague with some of their answers, still it's a step in the right direction and I wanted to let you guys know what's going on. So the other day they made a long post on Reddit. I'm gonna simplify this for you guys, just hit the key points. And uh, basically the stuff we can expect right away is uh, they're updating the quality of the camos coming up soon on January 31st. So you guys know some of the, you know, super hard to earn camos like solar and black sky and stuff like that don't really look all that great so they're going to be upgrading that as well as the other hundred camos they just added into the game with that big update so they're going to make everything look a lot better which is good um they're also they said that tactical tdm is actually going to be staying it was a big hit obviously a lot of people really liked it so that's going to become a permanent game mode for the rest of the life cycle of infinite warfare and they're also working on other featured game modes that will be coming in the future and they're going to be on a weekly cycle so like a new game mode is going to come out it'll be here for a week we can play it and then it's gonna go goodbye forever and then something else is gonna come back in and take its place Which sounds kind of cool. Hopefully they come up with some good game mode ideas And uh, it'll be a nice way to keep things fresh and uh, then finally They're also working on a new game health indicator to help players monitor game performance and lag so obviously we have no sort of ping status indicator in this game. In previous Call of Duty's, you'd have like the, you know, one, two, three, or four bars. We don't even have that in this game. We don't have a number like a lot of other games give you. We have no way to tell if you have a good connection to that lobby. I'm not sure why this wasn't in the game at the very launch, but at least we're getting it now, three months after it's been released. That's just, that's nuts, man. But um, anyway, yeah, so that's some of the stuff we can expect very, very soon. We also have some other stuff coming that a lot of people are gonna be very excited about. So uh, what's the word everybody's been saying? It starts with an L. That tragic L word, leaderboards, are officially coming to Infinite Warfare by the end of this month. So sometime in the next couple weeks, we're gonna have leaderboards in the game. It's gonna be split up into kind of like two different categories. So there's gonna be a friend leaderboard where it's all the people on your friends list and that keeps track of stats all time, but it also keeps track for weekly and monthly so you can see who's doing better recently, which is kind of cool. And then they also have the normal leaderboard where it has the worldwide rankings amongst all players that we've always had in Call of Duty. But this one's a little bit different. It's a little bit more limited. So it only shows you a rank like it only gives you a specific number if you're in the top 10,000 so like let's say you're 5,071st score per minute you're gonna see 5,071 next to your name if you're above 10,000 it's just gonna give you a percentage of what percent you're in so like top 25% or top 75% or whatever else it may be and they say that this is promoting the competitive spirit of multiplayer and it makes you want to like try to crack into the top 10,000 really what I think that is is they don't want to admit how few people are playing this game like that's not information they want out there because a lot of people wouldn't be happy investors and stuff like that so uh you know I don't really like that. I, like, if you are in the top 10K, you don't actually get assigned a number. You have a vague percentage that you can't even really see where you're at. I don't know. I, just, I, I feel like you can't really see your progression that well and see yourself getting better and moving up the ranks as well. And for the people who like to play a lot of public matches and, and really, like, care about their stats, that's not really a good thing. But, uh, I mean, <laughs> at least we're getting leaderboards three months into the game. Uh, next up, we actually have another couple of features a lot of people have been talking about that are going to be coming to the game by the end of February. It's going to be late February. And those are custom emblems and combat records. So, four months after the game has been released, nearly halfway into the game's life cycle is when we're going to be getting these features that have kind of become staples of multiplayer for how many years now? Like, it's just... It's crazy, man. So at least now we finally have some sort of communication. Like, we, we really do appreciate that. I'm glad that they're working on this stuff. I would have liked some sort of an explanation as to what's going on. Like, why in the hell these things were already in the game? You know what I mean? Like, it just, it feels like Infinity Ward made an incomplete product and then pushed it out. And now they're trying to fix all the things that should have been in there before it was launched months ago. Like, it just, it all seems like a big jumbled up whirlwind of a mess. And I just, I, I, I feel like we're kind of owed some sort of an explanation as to what's going on but um i guess not i don't know it's it's whatever at least it's finally coming to the game even though it may be a little bit late so uh there you guys have it what a mess man this year is just absolutely insane and some other news i actually just saw vaughn i retweeted him he tweeted out that treyarch's looking for level designers so whoop whoop hop on the hype train for 2018 we're coming baby it's only two years away 
Oh, man. All right. Anyway, I'm going to catch you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, oh, yeah, on my second channel right now, I actually posted some Black Ops 3 game battles. If you guys want to see some old school Black Ops 3 gameplay, go check those out. I'll link them down in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you all later. Peace out.